What is up guys, this is Kubuak here, and welcome back to the Pokemon Emerald Randomized Nuzlocke, where last time we did... <laughs> where last time we got our starter and we also caught a few mons, which we'll go and show off right now, because most of them are in... Well, one of them's in the box, I remembered. We did not catch our final encounter of yesterday, but we did get three encounters, caught two of them. Uh, missed out on a, uh, Sentret, so I'm not worried about it at all. And the three Pokemon that, uh, we did get, including our starter, is Victor the Croconaw, Ego the Togepi, and Clora the Sunkern, which I don't expect to ever use. But, um, I did look it up in between episodes, how Togepi evolves, and it is through happiness, so I've been kind of running around off-screen like this, just trying to get some happiness up. Just so that it could evolve faster, because Togetic does have the same exact learn set as well. Nothing changes at all, because it is a um, happiness evolution. And those usually don't change learn sets, because they're almost unpredictable. Um, you can get a Pokemon to max happiness without trying, and then it evolves, and you're like, Oh, crap! Look at that, it evolves. Yeah, so they usually don't tend to mix up learn sets. But he is holding a Soothe Bell as well. Um, which is good. Which is good. Um, what level is he? Four? Level six, I think he gets Metronome. Yeah, it's four in, um, in Fire Red, Leaf Green, six in Hoenn games. But, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go against Technician Antoinette. Leading with a Silcoon, because I did hit same strength. So we're probably- or no, did I hit same strength? I don't think I hit same strength, I think I just did all fully evolved by level 45. Because I wanted the Elite Four in later game to get difficult. So once we hit the level 45 threshold, it's kinda like we're gonna be entering hard mode for sure. Pretty soon here we're gonna be entering... Do you really wanna click that mode when we start using, um... When we start using metronome, that's gonna be quite the time. That is going to be quite the time. Alright, this Silcoon is going to... Didn't take as long as I anticipated, but... Alright. Alrighty. Um, these random trainer battles... I'm probably gonna speed through most of the time. I feel bad about speeding through trainer battles, but... Sorry about that. But I'm probably gonna speed through trainer battles most of the time just because I don't feel like another vaults? Okay. I don't feel like staying in and, or uh, taking forever in episodes just to wipe out some trainers on the route that are literally just like pointless. Obviously, if things get heated, I'm going to try to refrain from using the speed up button, but it is kind of habitual at this point, to be honest. But, that is like my main thing I want to work on in this series, is speed up, because most time, most of the time when I'm let's playing a Pokemon game, I will not use the speed up button. I will use the speed up button too much to the point where I am, um, it, 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 it could take away from the series big time, because not only is it distorting the gameplay, obviously, but I could, like, I'll start skipping through important stuff, because I'll get too comfortable just using the speed button. But, um, okay, we're gonna hit Metro- no, we're not. We're not gonna- I don't trust this. I wanna get- I wanna get over-leveled before I start trusting metronomes. But, it can not take away from a series, as I was saying. What is he sending in? A ladybug? We'll stay in. We'll stay in. It can take away from a series, though, because then you start skipping important stuff. Okay. I'm not... <laughs> hitting it again. We're hitting it again. The accuracy has been lowered. Hit your cold. It's not very effective, but... Is it? It's normally effective. We are just dropping his stats one by one with metronome moves. With metronome moves. All right. Iron defense. You're not touching me. Your tackles aren't touching Ego. Ego is getting its first kill right now. Its first knockout right now. Come on, Ego. Frustration. 
Oh, there's recoil, so that isn't there. Frustration doesn't even have recoil? I thought it was like struggle with PP, but like better than struggle, you know? We're gonna get these Orin berries because. and these Pecha berries. Just because those can come in handy. Pecha berries, um, especially, are good to have because. It's like antidotes for free. Orin berries aren't strong enough to be beneficial to like like later game, but Pecha berries, stuff like that, that stuff is literally always useful because it's free antidotes, it's free paralyzed heals, it's free status, uh, it's free status healing to be honest. That's what it is more than anything. It's just heal your status, you know, for free. But all right. Our Pokemon have been restored. This episode, there's something off with me. I could feel it. I could feel it. Don't worry. You guys are not crazy. You guys are not crazy, but maybe it's because I am. I don't know. It's the 1st of August, so by the time you're seeing this, it'll be the 2nd of August. I'm going to buy... I have no money. May took all my money. Amy took... Amy May, whatever you want to call her, took all my money usually start off with more than that but all right we don't even have anything we could sell yet that is like the the real bad part about this is we're here and there's just nothing for us to uh, sell at all but there is an encounter right here which is another centric we need stuff to sell though because we're just gonna hit metronome see what happens to be honest at this point icicle spear it's kind of it's a wild Pokemon, though. The experience isn't worth staying in. Did I even level up from that? I didn't. I did not even level up. I almost did. I, yeah. Okay, we came close. We didn't even level up from Ego's first kill. I'm going to come back for you, Chick, but you never know when you're going to get a Master Ball or an Aspier. Aspier Berry. Let's see what that does. Let's see if it was in vain or not. Yes, it is like an ice seal. I think I turned bad items off, so I turned useless berries and stuff like that off, which is kind of cheap, I guess, but it adds to the excitement. Nothing is worse than a series where you're consistently getting bad items. I didn't want that. Rattata Sprite in Gen 3 is so weird. Rattata's Gen 3 Sprite is, is very, very ugly. Very, very ugly is the best way I can describe that. And normal types still kind of scare me, to be honest, because something about normal types early game when you're using something like a Togepi is just intimidating for some reason. Only because it's a Togepi, only because I look at it like slack off, I'm definitely going to switch out. I want to see something here. We're going to do some comparisons. Your defense is 15, yours is 26. All right. But I don't know how bad that is for your level. Alright, well we're just gonna switch in Ego, to be honest, for this slack off. Because I want to see what it does. I want to know what I did. I think it was Curse. No, it couldn't have been. It was embargo, wasn't it? Hold on, we gotta look this up. I gotta look this up on my phone to see what, what just happened. <laughs> That's funny though, that is funny. Don't don't get me wrong. Here, I have these notes. I'ma write I'ma write that that happened down. I'ma write down that that happened. That was funny. All right. I wrote down 10 minutes. Ego RIP. What just happened though? <laughs> Hold on, we're gonna find out right now. We're gonna find out right now what was that? That was an embargo, was it? 
No, it wasn't embargo. It's um It's not embargo, but it's something like there is a move. Let me let me look it up. Pokemon moves that hurt user. Recoil. There is a well that's recoil. It might not be considered recoil. Alright, moves with okay, it's not on there. It's not on moves with recoil damage. Is there another list here? No. And what's the We're gonna find it. We're gonna find we need to know before we do anything. We're gonna we're gonna find out what happened exactly. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out exactly what the heck happened. I'm serious about this. Pokemon moves that cost health. Let's try that. Moves that restore HP. HP draining moves. Hold on, we're on to something. Nope, that's draining as in you're draining theirs. Um Dude, I know what it's called. I just need to know. I just need to know Pokémon moves. What would that be considered? That take health, maybe? Moves that it's like suicidal moves. That is something here that we have just found. But I'm sure it's talking about self destruct and stuff like that. It's not that. Not that. Not that. Memento, is that it? Yes. Yes, it was Memento. We just mementoed the slack off on accident. And it cost us our ego. I wanted a Togetic. I'm sad. That is a bummer. Not gonna lie, that is a bit of a bummer. But it was my fault. I said it myself. I said it myself that we were gonna have fun and take the risk of Metronome, which is why I didn't freak out and get mad when um when something as simple as Way I should be sliding this. It has been bugging me this whole time. I'm just gonna put it back where it was. Close enough. That was more. Right there is where I'm leaving it. I don't care anymore. It's just bugging me. I'm OCD about making sure that thing's centered. But 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 that was also bad YouTubing. See, that's my bad YouTubing. I always try to fix stuff mid-recording. But I did say, I did say that we we're gonna have some fun, take some risk with that metronome, you know. And it cost us. <laughs> the first member of- we have to name this. We have to name this. Um, we're gonna name this in all caps. Does it fit? It fits exactly. It fits exactly. I miss you. <laughs> so our first member of I miss you is unfortunately Ego on episode 2. This is what you guys have to look forward to this entire series. Me getting Pokemon just to lose them. All right. I wish I wouldn't see. That's what I mean too by speed up can take away from the series. I think that definitely took away from today's episode because that could have been 
a much different experience. Who the heck are you telling me to go talk to my own father? I guess I have to. I guess I have to. Boo hoo. I got some more money, though. I do have some more money, though. I don't have much more money. I thought I had more money than that money. All right, we're we're going. We're moving on. We don't have cash. We don't have ego. We're just going to Petalburg now. I don't care. I don't care. Oh, hey, look, I'm doing it again. <clears throat> What's my dad's voice? We need a dad voice. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Um, no, 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 no. Yeah, hey, hey. Hey, no, I don't know. What do I want? Do I want an A? Do I want a... A woos boy? I don't even know what kind of crap I want for this guy. Um, let's try to think. I swear I am making this worse the more I try to fix it. Oh my god, this should be rotated like that. <coughs> well, if it isn't Cubewax, so you're all finished moving in. I'm surprised that you managed to get here by yourself. Oh, I see, you're with your Pokemon. Hmm, then I guess you're going to become a trainer like me, Cubewax. That's great news. I'll be looking forward to it. What is Wally's voice gonna be? I don't want to do generic. Generic Wally voice is like, um, I I'd like to get a Pokemon, please, because he's all shy. Let's think. Oh, it's Sonic. Let's try to think of a Sonic character. Sonic, it's me, Tails! That's a really bad Tails voice, kind of. Hey, Sonic! I kinda, I kinda, this is kinda Tails. Um, I'd, I'd like to get a Pokemon, please. Hmm, you're, uh, oh, right, you're Wally, right. I'm, I'm going to stay with my relatives in Verinturf Town. I thought I would be lonely by myself, so I wanted a Pokemon, wanted to take a Pokemon along. But I've never caught a Pokemon before, and I don't know how. Hmm, I see. <clears throat> Sonic! No, no, no. Dad doesn't call Sonic. Kibowak! Are you- you heard that, right? Go with- go with Tails and make sure that he safely catches a Pokemon. Tails, here! I'll loan you my Pokemon. We're calling Wally Tails, May Amy, and Professor Birch's Eggman. I'm- Dr. Eggman, actually. To be politically correct, how did that- I don't even know what just went down. I don't even know how that, like, went up there like that. Um... Oh wow, a Pokemon! What is Tails? Tails used to sound more like this, and then they made him sound like this! I don't, like, literally, I'm making a bunch of voices, it's crazy. Hmm, I'll give you a Pokeball too, go for it! Tails received Pokeball. Oh wow, thank you! Sonic, you, would you really come with me? Okay, I need to perfect my Tails voice another time. That'll be the real challenge of the series. Can I be Tails? Find out next time! Just kidding. Don't find out anything next time. <laughs> Kibowak, Pokemon hide in tall grass like this, don't they? Please watch to see if I can catch one properly. Whoa! I think it's still Ralts. Yeah. I made sure not to modify that because I didn't want to break the game, which has happened to me plenty of times before. It has happened to me plenty of times before. You feel me, man? You feel what I am saying? I don't. Alright. Wally, I'm sorry. I'm speeding through this. We don't care. <coughs> I did it! It's my... F it's... <coughs> Sonic! Sonic! He sounds like this, almost. I did it! It's my, my Pokemon! Sonic, thank you! Let's go back to the gym! So, did it work out? Thank you, yes! Yes, it did! Here you Pokemon back! Okay, we're done with that voice. I like this one better, because you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Sonic, thank you for coming along with me. You two are why I was able to catch my Pokemon. I promise I'll take really good care of it. Oh, my mom's waiting for me, so I have to go. Bye, Sonic. Later, Tails. Now, <clears throat> keep work. If you want to become a strong trainer, here's my advice. Head for Rustboro City beyond this town. There you should challenge the gym leader, Roxanne. After her, go to the other Pokemon gyms and defeat their leaders. Collect badges from them, understood? Of course, I'm a gym leader too. We'll battle one day, keep work, but that's only after you become stronger. Which literally, there is no, there, there is virtually no logic behind your dad wanting to wait, besides like wanting to have a good battle with his child, which is never ever stated. Like it is never said once, like, oh, I want to have a good battle with you. Like, oh, come back later because I want to have a decent battle with better Pokemon that like are trained. 
But instead, he's just like, oh, come back when you're stronger. And when you watch Pokemon and listen to the Pokemon Origins, like, anime and stuff, the reason, like, that they give you in Pokemon for, um... The reason they give you for... It's Scott. I knew he was coming. For gym leaders only being as strong as you are is because they use Pokemon accustomed for their challenger. But that's just their way of saying... Uh, of justifying it. It's like explanation, but it's not solid. There's loophole... There's a uh, there's holes in that explanation, but it's fine. Okay, Scott needs a voice too. Ooh. Froggy. I'm good at that. Excuse me, let me guess, from the way you're dressed, are you a Pokemon trainer? I'm Big the Cat, if you didn't know. Well maybe, well maybe not, your clothes aren't all that dirty. You're either a rookie trainer, or maybe you're just an ordinary kid. So I'm not allowed to clean my clothes because I'm a Pokemon trainer now. Okay, good to know, Scott. I'm roaming the land in search of talented trainers. I'm sorry to have taken your time. Froggy! Come back! Why are all the trees sad? I don't know if you guys can see that. They have sad faces. They all have sad faces on the very top. If you look closely, that's what that looks like. You're not a trainer. But you're gonna tell me if trainers lock eyes, it's a challenge. Yeah. This is an encounter. Before anything, let's get ourselves an encounter. We have five Pokeballs. How much time? Oh, we are already over my time. I want- I'm gonna get the encounter and then end the episode. I don't want to battle anybody. Smeargle! Yet another Mon that we get to get or have fun with. I love that. I love that. I mean, our death counter is at one on episode two, which is terrible. But... I am quite a fan. Oh my god, he's gonna get rage. I should have scratched. Anyways, the smear goal is starting with rage. He's gonna learn sketch a few times. And I'm gonna just rage again, because I know next time he's gonna rage me back, and it's just gonna be a loop of raising our attacks. But, um, we're gonna catch this thing now. Smear I love, I love getting mons that you get to have fun with. There is a flash flood warning! I live in California! Get out of here, phone. You are vibrating my whole desk, probably. But there is a flat. I mean, California got out of the drought, technically, I guess. I heard that. I haven't looked into it to see how true it is. We caught Smeargle. Hold on. I wanna... I wanna check something. I wanna check something. I wanna check... I want to check if it's raining. No, but oh my god, is it going to? The storm clouds are here. It's getting wild. Let me sit down. Alright. Here we go. My phone is over there. I don't need that. Smeargle was caught. Alright. Um. What are we going to name you? What are we gonna name you? We are going to name your girl. What is like a famous female artist? I could name you Mona Lisa, but that's the painting, not the painter. Um. Let's think. Let me think. Let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. Honestly, I don't know. I'm not too versed in art artiste names. Um, I have a dope name for this thing. No, I don't. It still sounds like... The graphics for this series were done by... An artist named Skiz Skizzer Skizor. It's it's pretty. A lot of people call he calls himself Skiz. A lot of people call him Skiz, but it's Skizor. So what we're gonna do is there's like a, a lot of a lot of name a, a lot of crap going into this name. It's only one Z because it's S K I Z O R R. 
we're gonna do schizza. Because A at the end of the words in Spanish usually indicates uh, being feminine, which is why you hear a lot more female names ending in the letter A in Spanish, or at least I have. And that's just like, that is feminine. An A at the end is feminine, where an O at the end is masculine for verbs. And adjective, adjectives, I, I mean, actually, maybe verbs. S and objects and stuff like that. There's just a whole bunch of stuff like that that is either an O or an A. Ah. We're gonna name this thing Skiz A ah, because it is a female. And Skiz did the art, so we're gonna do Skizza. Skizza is a dope name too. And you can't give that to a Caesar, which is the only thing you'd want to give that to. So I'm giving it to a, a... Oh, what are you holding? What is he holding? Or she holding? X special, that is poop. We're gonna give that to this Smeargle, because I do want to use it. I do want to use the, the Smeargle. But we are gonna use the Smeargle on the team. But... For today's episode, I believe that's actually gonna do it. Yeah, that's it. Alright, bye guys. Just kidding. Wow, I went way over. I just looked over and didn't realize how long I was rambling for. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like to show your support. And as always, my name is Kubowak. I am signing out, and I will catch... All of you guys next time. Peace.